Are you just getting started out in your business and you're trying to figure out if you want a full-blown website or a one-page website? I've talked about this before and one of my um, viewers, um, John Collins, had asked, how do you make a one-page website? Like, I don't even know where to begin. There are lots of different ways that you can do it. There's lots of different programs out there. Anytime you hear of anything, there's always a competitor. But I use ClickFunnels. So what I'm going to show you today is how to make a one-page website in ClickFunnels. And if you are brand spanking new and you don't know what to do, I highly recommend to go this route. This is how I started because what's going to happen if you try to do a full-blown website, you're going to go into it one to do it and have every part that you need, you're going to have to pay somebody, which at this point in your business, that can get pretty pricey. You don't want to do that. Um, and to do it yourself, it's going to take a hell of a lot of time and you're really not going to be sure what you want on your website at this point because you're new and you're still learning. So I recommend go with this one page website. Now I found one that's already built. So there is a share funnel. There's a link below that you can click. It says share funnel one page website and it'll pop up on your page and I'll show you exactly what's going to happen and how this works. Again, your choice how you want to do it but john had asked how do you do that and that john this video is for you actually all right so what you're going to do step number one you're going to click that link below it's going to open up a program called click funnels now you don't have to pay anything there's a two-week free trial i highly recommend that you go in there you check it out see if this is for you now if you're like well i don't want to pay um a premium for their basic program i i don't want to do that maybe i want to try something else go out and start looking there are other ones out there like i said but you at least have that two weeks to check it out i'm sold on this i love click funnels it's what i use for everything um, as you grow your business you'll start making all kinds of funnels all kinds of things using this program but for now you need a one-page website and this is the easiest way to do it download that link and once you download it it's going to take you to Click funnels. Now, when you get in there, it's going to say, open up your free trial. Go ahead. You can cancel it. Won't cost you a dime to check this out. Um, I found this actually, I just did some searching. I was going to do the video and start it from scratch. And I thought, well, if you really don't know what you're doing, it can be, it can feel very daunting, very cumbersome and like, oh my gosh. So I thought, okay, let me go find a template that's out there. You don't always have to recreate the wheel. And Mike Lazarus just happened to have a template and that's the one that that I loaded and he calls it my perfect one uh, one page website all right so I went ahead and downloaded it and when you go in there if you go up to this tab it says click funnels that's where all your funnels are and it's going to go into a folder that automatically says shared funnels when you open it this is what you'll see now the first thing that I want that you need to do is have a domain because right now you've opened up click funnels and you're opening up a website and every website needs a domain now click funnels will give you one for free just remember that down the road when you start getting bigger and starting to get your own website and things like that it, it's kind of complicated to take that um, domain from ClickFunnels and move it to your website. So I would even make up a domain that says um, maybe not something that you maybe call a test domain or something like that. I don't know. Um, but you can get a free one or you can use the one you already have. So let's say you've already got your domain. What do you do? How do you get it downloaded into ClickFunnels? You go over here to the ropes just a moment to the what I want you to do is go up here into settings you're on your home page and we're going to add our domain to our funnel so once you have it full um, loaded if you had to load a new one then you can do this later but if you already have a domain then you want to come over here and it says pick the domain that you want the funnel or your website one page website connected to and I'm connecting it to vdbrulee.com okay you're also going to go over here you have a name for your um, uh, one page website then here where it says path I just put one page website because that's going to tell me that's what this path is for you can call it anything you want but you want to make sure it's something that you can remember um, some people will just put opt-in page um, little codes anything anything that's going to help you now come all the way down here and save and update those settings because you want to make this funnel yours it's a shared funnel and all the domain and everything is connected to the person who originally made it so if you took my shared link then it's connected to me if you went on um, the 
um, and searched and Googled it and found a different one that somebody else is sharing, then it's connected to them. So you want to make sure you fix all that. Now you're going to go in and edit page. I think this was put together very well. Look at the top. You're going to have a logo. Some people just start out using their name. If, if Don't spend a lot of time trying to make things like that. If you're not really sure, just put your name there for now. And later you might say, you know what? I want to change it to such and such logo. That's fine. Um, and here, these are already put in here for you. Your about page, a products page, YouTube, events, community. Um, if you want to hire as a coach, which you're probably not doing at this point, um, these are all in here. These can be removed if you're not using them. But when Mike put this together, he thought of every single thing. So to remove them, what you're going to do, see the little orange element box, you're going to go right here to the little gear and then you can open it up and you can remove the different settings that are in there because you won't be using them. And here they are right here. Okay. So you can remove them if you need to. Um, you can also sometimes, yeah, you can also go in and add links. So right here where it says about, you're going to add a link in there that takes you to the about page. And you're like, wait a minute. I don't even know. Let, let me show, I'm just showing you how it works like a website, but it's all about putting links in, copying and pasting and putting, the, putting them in. This is your, um, opt-in page. This is the page that everybody will go to when they come to your website. So it's functioning as a landing page as well. You can say, hey, well, there you go, John. I didn't put that there, John Collins. Um, but anyway, hi, I'm John. That happened by accident. Here's my attention grabbing thing. Click the button for free. Yes, I want the thing. And people will click that and then your free thing will be sent to them. Now, I'm not going to go into all of those little mechanics on how to do that. I have a course that I made. It's called Affiliate Marketing Mastery. If you decide to use ClickFunnels and you decide to become a member signing up with my link, then I will give you that course for free. You just need to email me. Um, I have my email address down below. And all you have to do is say, hey, I signed up as a member. Just tell me what, you know, which um, video that you watched, and then I will send you the course or give you the login information for free. That course goes into all the nitty little gritty things about what is this little element box? Um, uh, how do I get that free thing to send to people? And what are you talking about a free thing? Um, all of that is in the video. I also have a lot of videos on my channel and I'm going to take you there in a moment and show you what will help you. So all of that can be free for you. Okay. Because I want you to get started and I want, I don't want you to sit there worried about, you know, putting out money or anything like that. It is a course that I usually sell, but like I said, if you sign up for click funnels and you need more information, I'll give that to you for free. All right. So this is like your home page. Now you can scroll down and look, there's an about me page, but also, if you hit the about me link, let's go into the preview. I'm not sure if the link is set up for you, but there's a preview page. Anytime you make some changes or anything, you want to save them. If you hit that preview page, it will take you over and show you what it looks like. So this is um, the home page, what it looks like. And let's go to the, click the about link. Look at that. It pops you right down to the about me page. Now on the actual page, Everything is just lined up on one page to make it easy for you. Later, you are welcome to make an about me page and actually go down here. Let's go down to the bottom. I went back out to that original page. You can add as many pages and steps as you want. When you understand what you're doing, you can say, you know what? I want to make the about me page on a separate page here in my funnel and then link it. The thing is, if you don't know what you're doing and you don't want to get that complicated, then just leave it where it's at for now. Because if, you, if you're doing affiliate marketing, one of the things that affiliate marketing companies will ask you, give me your web page link. We want to see that you're serious about being in business and we want to see that you have a web page. And a lot of times that's why affiliate marketers will use this method of promoting products. So that's how those little links work. So you have um, your opt-in page where you want them to see your free thing. You have an about me page. You'll just go in and copy all that. And if you keep going down, there's even follow me on social media. Each one of these links, if you hit that little gear, that will show you, it'll say, oh, put your Facebook link here, put your Instagram. Now, 
let's say you're sitting here going, I don't even have all those links. Now I'm really getting, um, you know, really getting um, frustrated, okay? You can go over here and trash it. You can delete that section if you want to. Here's the thing though. If you delete it, it's not gonna be there when you need it for later. So I'm gonna show you how to clone this share funnel so that you can play with it and go in and move it all around and do what you want, mess it up. But if you do, you still have another copy. And that's what I did in the beginning. I was so afraid to go in and play around because I was so afraid I was gonna lose this awesome share funnel. I used a lot of share funnels when I started because I, I just didn't have the knowledge of what I was doing to go in and, and create things from scratch. Now I can, and it's so easy. It's, it's once you do it, but let's keep sliding down. If you're selling products, there's a product page. Now, obviously if, if you're doing affiliate marketing, you're sharing products from somebody else. So you might not want this page, but maybe you're at the point in your business where you've created a course and you want to put them on your one page funnel. You can put them in here. Now, remember, Every single one of these can be deleted. See this little um, trash can there, delete. What if you want more than three products? Go up here, the same thing. Uh, see here, the little duplicate, it says clone. You can clone another section and have as many products as you want. What if you're using a YouTube channel and you wanna direct people to your YouTube channel? You have it all set up for you right here. You can put some of your popular videos and then put a link taking somebody directly to your channel. And the next one is events. Now, most of us, I don't even have a webinar yet and I've been doing this for um, over well over a year and a half. I'm just not to that point where I have um, a high ticket item. Most of my courses are $300 or less. I don't have anything pushing 500 to 1000 at this point. And usually you don't want to make a webinar until you've reached that. You want to really have a significantly large audience before you want to start putting out webinars. That's just what I've been taught. So you might want to skip all that. Okay. Um, if you have a community, you want to um, lead people to your Facebook group or to your YouTube channel. And again, now, I was talking earlier about hire me. Um, if you want to start coaching, this would be something you put, could put here. Or if you want to be hired to go speak. Now, again, you're brand new and you're thinking, wait a minute, I'm not even to that point. However, if you're brand new, you might want to, on the side, pick up some freelancing jobs. Maybe you're really, really good at creating graphic design. Maybe you really know how to make banners and thumbnails. Um, maybe you, you have a program, how to make an ebook cover for somebody, but go to upwork.com or fiverr.com. I'll put one of the links down there for you below, but you can go in there and hire yourself out to do those things. And then maybe put yourself here as well. What that does, it gives you an opportunity to be bringing in some cash while you're building your business, because you are not going to build a website, go out there and put out some content and make thousands and thousands of dollars overnight. You have to build your uh, credibility up, build up your audience and get people to see that you're serious. And I think the, the key word is credibility. They want to see that you're really serious about what you're doing and you're just not throwing a bunch of links out there. And that's what a lot of people are taught in affiliate marketing. And that's exactly why I started my coaching business because I want to show people that it's more than that. It's not just throwing links out. And I made that mistake in the beginning. All right, down here, um, maybe you want to put something else on your page. Now, if you're brand new, what I would recommend you do is find a website that you like, and it could be a fancy, complicated one, but look at it and think, what are things that this person has on their website that I want to have on my website? And yes, yours is going to be a little bit more streamlined. It's not going to be fancy, but it's enough to help you get started. Um, if you sit there, keep wanting that, that bigger website, it's going to stifle you and not help your business grow. You want to get this built. You want to have a website to share when you're going out and, and signing up for different affiliate partner programs. And then you have your website. So that's something you can put on the back burner. Like, you know, a after I get to a certain point, I'll go back and I'll upgrade it then. So again, um, recommend it. Here's your affiliate products. You can put them here if you want. These are tools well, on my website. I'm going to show you that in a moment, but on my website, my recommended tools, let's go now. Um, I do have a website and I do use click funnels. And one of the things that I just learned is so cool. You can connect and I'm telling you this for future 
because I'm telling you what ClickFunnels does. But you can take a ClickFunnels page and connect it right into your website when you get ready to do that. So don't feel like anything you're doing here is wasted because it's not. But I want to show you my tools page as an example. I have all my tools listed on the tools page. So these are all the software things that I'm using in my business and that I talk a lot about in a lot of my different videos. I use obviously YouTube for my content, but these are all the different things that I use. So I have a tools page. You're going to have a tools page in your website down here like this. So what you could do is you could have a picture of the tool or you could have a little video, um, I think would be a good idea, a little video training someone on how to use that tool. And then you can have the link right here, which would take them directly to the affiliate link. And everything opens up, all the changes are the gear, which opens up anything you can change within that button. And again, I'm not gonna go into detail about all of that. It's all in that course that I'll give you for free. If you wanna do a video instead of a picture, you're gonna add an element like this, and then go in here and add video okay so elements are like your boxes like um, the different tools that you have like you have text and you have video and you have images and things like that if you decide you don't want to use it just go back in and delete i just want to show you how easy it is to add things and take things off now you do want to go in every once in a while and save just to make sure every all the changes you are making are there i know sometimes your internet will go out or something and then you'll lose it and again I'm going to show you how to clone the whole thing so that you're not going to be afraid to go in and try different things. Um, this is, again, my attention grabbing thing. Maybe you can put it again at the bottom. This is the thing that I want you to sign up for. And they're going to hit the link. They'll sign up on your newsletter email marketing list, and then you'll send them something free. This is a footer down here at the bottom. And again, you're going to have to go into each one of these or delete them. And here are your social media things, or you can delete it. Um, who am I? You have a little um, paragraph about you and then your logo. And if you want, you can add something over here. If you don't want four different sections, you hit the blue section like right there and add. I'm not going to add it now, but you can add one column to three, four, all the way up to six, I think right there. So very easy to manipulate and change it around a little bit but again don't worry about all that at this point all right um i'm going to go back out of here okay we're going to hit this arrow to go back out and it brings us here to the main page at the bottom this was really nice um one when somebody signs up for your free thing you can hit that button, send them the free thing through an email or send it directly for, through ClickFunnels. And I've got all that in the course, but you can send them a thank you, like have that thank you page pop up. So this thank you page, thank you for subscribing to my email list, to my newsletter goes, will pop up automatically. Now you might say, well, I don't have a newsletter yet. Go ahead and collect the emails anyway, because later when you want to start, um, sending out a weekly newsletter then you'll already have these emails collected i i've heard of people which is crazy but i've heard people say i've got an email list of six thousand people and i've never sent them a, a newsletter i don't recommend you wait that long but that's a whole nother training that's a whole nother thing that you need to learn if you're serious about going into business again we're not going to talk about it here today um, there's also an extra page here if you want to start building extra pages and down here at the bottom, you have to have some legal things on your website. You have to have terms of service. You have to have privacy policy and a disclaimer. Those three things, actually, I'm going to open up to disclaimer. It is a page ready for you. Let's go to edit. It's a page sitting there ready for you to put your disclaimer in there. The disclaimer is not written. I didn't want you to think it was already there for you. How do you get a disclaimer? Um, there are a lot of, Google it, there's a lot of websites out there that'll say here's a free written disclaimer or pr um, private policy, all those things you need. I found some free ones and I've got a really good um, detailed one that I found for free, but you can also hire a lawyer or hire somebody online to write it up for you. And it's not really that pricey anymore. But I just wanted to point it out that there's nothing in here. There's just ready and all set up for you to put your disclaimer. What is a disclaimer? You need a disclaimer as an affiliate marketer because you are 
sending links to people and you're trying to sell them something and you want to be um, raw and transparent about that. You want to say, yes, I am sending you links where I might earn some money. If you go to my YouTube channel, you can see I have a disclaimer down in the description. Every YouTube person has that on their YouTube channel. They should, because most people um, that set up those channels sometimes will have links in there for you to hit that they might be trying to offer you a tool to use or some kind of uh, equipment or products, and they make money off of that. They make a commission. So you definitely want to have your disclaimer. All right, that is what I have today for this. What I want to tell you now is if you're serious, like I said a moment ago, if you're serious about wanting to build this page and you want to build it in ClickFunnels, I recommend you hit the link below. And then you, like I said, if you go ahead and sign up as a member with ClickFunnels, there's two things you can do. Well, three. One, make sure you email me and I'll, I'll give you that login information for the free affiliate marketing mastery course. Number two, Russell Bronson has a lot of free training on the ClickFunnels site. He offers you some basic free training. Make sure you go through that because you really want to get familiar with all of these different um elements and sections and and things like that and again the more you do it the easier that it will get and the third thing that you want to do is you want to go to my channel because i go to vanessa de Berlay, my channel looks like this and i want you to scroll down and i have a whole section called sales funnels and in this section i have some videos here about different sales funnels you can open it up see if there's anything there that will apply but this is the one I want you to look at. I have 43 videos in there. Um, they're all ClickFunnels mechanics. So it might say, how do I save a section? There's probably a video in there. And what I did when I was learning how to use ClickFunnels to help me remember, I just kept making videos. If there's not something in there, let me know and I will make a video because I want to make sure that that's solid and full in there for somebody. But go in there and use those or Google it. I mean, you can do one or the other, but I, I have a pretty comprehensive list in there, 43 different videos. Now, I told you I was going to show you how to clone your, let's go back over here. I told you I would show you how to clone your section, okay? So you're going to go back to the main um, page there where you can see all your sections, okay? And you're going to go up here to settings. Settings is when you do things for the whole funnel, not individual pages, but it gives you the opportunity to clone it. See right here where it says clone, you can clone the funnel. So you have a second copy for safekeeping. I want you to do that right away because I want you to not be afraid to go in there and get your feet wet and play around. It's okay to make mistakes. We all do it. And um, when you make a mistake, everything can be undone. And if it can't, if you accidentally deleted it, then you have a cloned copy, okay? I did that a lot in the beginning. Um, now I don't so much, but I used to because I was just afraid of messing everything up. The second thing I wanted to show you, in my funnel, I have a coaching page that I made on ClickFunnels and I wanna show you for future this is the coolest thing. I just learned how to do it. There's a plugin that you can plug in to your funnel, to your website. So here I have my website. You can see all my tabs at the top, but this coaching page just happens to actually be on ClickFunnels. And I want you to see how there's a way that you can put a plugin into your website and ClickFunnels will plug it right into your, um, into your website. Now this, this page you see here is actually ClickFunnels. And what I did in ClickFunnels, I was able to go up and make these little tabs. And I went back to my website and made sure when you hit home, it goes back to my website. So it's awesome. I know it sounds confusing, but it is so cool because I could build this. I knew how to use ClickFunnels. This is what I do. I'm not a big website designer. I had somebody else um, help with that. But in here, everything that you see right here is from ClickFunnels. And I've got a footer down here that I've saved. I've got a header that I've saved. And again, those are things you can save and click them and bring them in and then plug it into your website when you're ready to do it. So my point in showing you this more advanced stuff is to show you 
that everything you're building is not going to be wasted. It can later be plugged into a website if you want it to be. If you have any questions, please ask below. If there's something that I can't answer, I'll find out, I'll make you a video. I want my channel to be comprehensive. I want you to be able to find the answers to your questions. I want you to feel like you have somebody that's gonna help you figure it out, okay? There is a lot to figure out, but for today, you need a website, the easiest thing to do is get that one page shared funnel that I have below, click it, stay focused, okay? Because when you get into click funnels, you're gonna start getting emails from Russell and stuff. You need to do this, you need to do that. Stay focused, build your website, stay focused. Um, that's one of the biggest problems we have in the beginning is there's so many cool things out there. We keep thinking, I need to do this, I need to do that. Think of yourself as hunting, okay? You're going out turkey hunting, right? You've got all your gear, you're, I, I'm not a hunter, but I'm using this as an analogy, it just came up. But you've got all your gear together and you're going out turkey hunting, right? You got a little turkey collar, you've got your gear and gun, special gun, all that stuff. And all of a sudden you see a deer and you're like, whoa, wait a minute, I'm gonna go shoot that deer. One, it's not deer season, so you can't shoot it. And two, you're turkey hunting, so stay focused. Does that make sense? Your business is the same way. There are certain seasons when you're working on certain things. You've got to get the foundational systems in place before you can start getting big like you see some people. It's okay to follow them. It's okay to get excited about what they're doing, but find somebody that's just a couple steps ahead of you, focus on them and say, okay, what do I need to get from A to B and then to C and then to D? You can keep watching that over there. That's okay to have those dreams, but right now, we got to put some action in and get this stuff done first, okay? I hope that helped you. I know I got a little um, wordy, <laughs> but I, I'm very passionate about that. I just feel like in the beginning of my business, I wasted time trying to get it all together and trying to do it all, and there's only so many hours in a day. Sure, I could have hired somebody, but I didn't have the money in our budget to go out and hire a bunch of people to do things. And I think there's also something to be said in, in you, if you first try to create it yourself, maybe you make a little bit of money and then you'll say, you know what? I don't wanna make funnels anymore. I'm gonna hire someone. I've decided that's not my thing, then hire someone. But you might find out you love it and it's the part you wanna do. And maybe you can let other people do the blogging or do the YouTube channel um, editing or something. Um, eventually again that'll be something out there too but right now do it yourself get your hands dirty figure it out and you'll feel some pride in it as well all right i'm going to be quiet um <laughs> thank you for watching my channel go over there uh, check out all the different things that i have i've got tons of videos like i said on um, click funnels mechanics and until i see you again thank you so much for watching make sure you subscribe and i'll see you on the next video